Today we've got a video uh, demonstrating the process of uh, leveling piano keys. Um, as piano keys get played and, and uh, the felts and everything underneath them get worn, uh, they become out of level. So as part of the regulation process, you want to go through and, and level the keys so that they're all at the same height. It just makes everything look nicer and it gives a even touch so that when you're playing, you don't have some keys that are higher or lower than, than the keys next to them, so we feel, get a consistent feel from one key to the other. Uh, we're starting out our video here is a, of a view of um, uh, the fronts of the keys. Okay, so the here, here we've got the fronts of the keys. I've got taken off the, the uh, keyboard slip, and uh, here we've got a, a aluminum straight edge that sits on top. Now, um, we're going to assume <coughs> this, this piano is not too badly out of regulation or uh, key um, height, so we're going to assume that uh, they're mostly close to where they should be, so we're just going to be even, evening things out. If you've got a piano that's way out of regulation, you want to um, first determine what the key height should be um, to, before you start leveling the keys, so determine a good height and then start your... Um, start your your key leveling from from your keys that you set to the correct height but uh, we're going to start here and, and just bring the ones that are a little bit low up to the le same level as the keys uh, that are higher so um, we've put um, put the uh, aluminum straight edge on and, and uh, in a minute I'll kind of show the process of how to adjust the level of the keys but do we want to do this view uh, to show uh, how some of the keys are a little bit higher higher or lower than others um, what I'm going to do is take a take a LED flashlight and um, and shine it here behind the keys or behind the, the aluminum straight edge if I put it right on the front of the straight edge you can see if the light shines through which it does a little bit on that one it doesn't dot all that that one so that one's probably one of the higher ones um, but if it shines through, you can see in that one, you get quite a bit of light through that one also, and that one too. So <clears throat> these ones that the light shines through, and you want to go all the way down, and again, uh, determine, you know, put your, make sure that the key, the, the level is resting on, on keys that are higher. So um, here again, down at this end, we've got uh, one where the light shines through, there, there. There, so so a lot of these have to be raised, especially as we get into the lower section. You got um, even lower keys. So uh, we're going to go through and, and adjust those and show you how to adjust, make the adjustments on that, so all the keys are the same level. The same thing is going to apply when we're um, leveling the sharps. Also, if we were to put the straight edge aluminum straight edge up here on the on the edges of the sharps and again take our flashlight and shine it behind and you can see this one here there's no light that comes through or even that one there is a little bit of light that comes through but when we get over here to these you can see there's there's a fair amount of light shining through now it might might not look like a significant amount when you when you look at it on the video, but um, you know you want to get those at the same height, you know, to the exact same height, and that's where the aluminum straight edge is a good gauge because sometimes it's hard to tell just by looking or by uh, sight um, if you're at the right right level. Here we're going to show you the process of um, how to adjust the key level and how to tell. Now we showed you with the the light with the aluminum straight edge shining. Uh, the other way that you can um, determine if, if a key, you know, just quickly, is if you've got the aluminum straight edge on the tops of the keys, you can tell which ones are a little bit low just by pushing, okay? If it clicks a little bit when it comes back up, now you have to do it really softly. If you hit it, it'll click if you hit it hard enough. But if you just do it softly and let it come just back up a little bit, see, so, you know, here, that one we hear a click. So that one's high enough, and that one's high enough. Okay, but it was see that one there's no click. And that one there's no click. And that one there's no click. And there we got a clicking one. So we've got we got a few we're gonna be um, uh, you know we know we have to we have to work with a little bit. <clears throat> so we're gonna start with middle C here since that one um, seems to be significant. Now what you'll do first is remove the key. Okay, you want to lift it straight up off the pin. 
and then um, you'll take uh, either some tweezers or here I've got uh, some a key punching lifter. Um, I'm going to lift off the the um, the felt punching, and I'm going to just start. Uh, we've got different. There's different sizes, but I'm going to here start with here with a a ten thousandths uh, punching to see what that gives me. Now, anytime that you replace the key, the the felt punchings, you're going to have to relevel the keys. Um, so you know, I can already tell by feeling that that might be a little high, even. Okay, if I if I, and you can tell too with your finger. If you run your finger along it here like this, that's a good indication. Okay, and that's a little bit high. Even. Sometimes it needs to be settled too a little bit if you play it a few times. Obviously, this piano isn't in tune, but so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that blue one off because that was a bit much. But you got to have a place to start with, so I'm going to go with a with a pink one, which is um, seven thousandths of an inch, and we'll put that felt punching back on. Put the key back on, and again, you want to play it a few times to kind of settle it in. And now when I feel it, it feels real close to the ones right next to it, which were, and it does make a clicking noise, and the ones on each side of it make a clicking noise. Okay. Okay, and again, here, this one here doesn't make a noise, and I can feel it's just a little bit low. That one may not even need as as much of a, as a seven thousandths of an inch punching. So we're going to go with a, a five thousandths inch punching. And again, we want to remove the felt. Okay, now as I feel that, that feels that feels much better. And there we go, and we get the little click. So, um, so that's that's the basic process of uh, of um, adjusting the level of the keys. Uh, you know, you do it back here, but it's really affecting the the fronts of the keys. And the height of this, and you do this after, after you do the squaring and spacing of the keys, which you can see um, in one of my other videos, and how to square and space the keys. So you square and space them first, and you might have to do a little bit of squaring and spacing once you get them all level, just to get a perfect, uh, <coughs> perfect condition for all of them. But uh, but um, that's kind of the the process of um, you square and space, and then level them all. And the same thing goes with the with the black with the black keys. Again, we can see here that those are, okay, that, those are good, but these are low. Okay, so again, we're going to raise those up <coughs> to be the same level as the, as the keys that are higher. Okay, and again, <coughs> we're not making a major adjustment to the height. And again, if you do have to make major adjustments, you want to uh, first determine what the what the best key level or key height is first. You know, have that as your starting point, and then and then bring in all the rest of them to match um, match what uh, what that correct key height should be. So um, again, that's the process of uh, leveling the keys. Um, look forward to our visit video on uh, adjusting key diff, as we'll probably all do that one next.